warm this up a little. It's quite good. <laughs> Yeah, this is lovely. Quite like that as well. Yeah, that's quite nice as well. That's quite nice. And the greens are just that nice. They're happy like yellow, but then it's kind of just more chill like a blue. So it's that nice middle ground of there's a bit of a lift and you're going to feel good in it. Mm. And I think especially in this one, you're going to feel really mm. good in it. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. I think this is a good middle ground from these other two. Yeah, this yeah. one that's a little bit, maybe a bit intense mm. and a bit cold. This one that's just not really doing mm. much. I think this is just a nice warm middle ground. Hi guys, uh, welcome to this colour consultation series with Natasha and my subscribers. Yay! <laughs> So I've got the lovely Heather here today. Um, would it be okay if you just say a few words about why it was you wanted to do a colour consultation? Uh, sure, so I've watched your other colour consultations with Natasha and I just like watching other people's colour consultations because it's something that really fascinates me and I'm always trying to analyse myself but I can never really work out what I would be. So I was just curious to find out what you would say I am. <laughs> okay. Sounds amazing, so cool. Um, well, both of you have a wonderful time and I hope everyone watching enjoys the video. And so colour analysis, I know you've probably seen it around a little bit, but I'll explain it just so we're both on the same page about what to look out for, what to expect, how the whole thing kind of works. So our aim today is to find which season is your very best season. So which are like your show stopper colours. We'll probably find a few which are, you know, fine, but we're looking for just your very best ones. And we're also at the same time looking at which ones aren't so great. So we're looking for a little bit of both just to make shopping so much easier for you. So you can just go and be like, right, best shades only, none of the bad ones, that kind of thing. And we're looking for how they reflect onto your skin, which is why we've got the physical drapes here. So we're going to see how they look underneath your face. So say there is a colour that doesn't necessarily suit you underneath your face, you may be that you can still wear it on the bottom, but you still probably want to keep in that seasonal palette of all your best shades. So it's a little bit more than saying, can I wear red or can I wear mm. green? It's saying which one is my red, which one is my best green. So the seasons that we've got laid out in front of us today, they're kind of, can you see they all look subtly different mm. from each other. They've all been kind of almost painted with different undertones. So these warmer palettes here, they look quite bright and quite sort of golden underneath mm. them. And then these palettes here are cooler, lighter. This one's a bit more dark and saturated and this one's almost got like a kind of whitewash on mm. it. So they kind of look like the natural world at that time of year. So this is a nice kind of even sunlight, things are blooming, that kind of thing. This one is kind of deep, sort of rich, earthy shades. This one's really light and this one's light because the light outside, like this time of year right now, is so bright that everything kind of appears washed out underneath mm. it. And this one is from a kind of dark time of year where everything's got kind of like more shadows so it appears kind of more poppy and kind of mm. saturated. So those are the main shade, uh, the main seasons that we'll be looking at today. And then we're looking for how do they make our skin look and also how do we feel mm. in those shades. So you want your skin to look nice and healthy. We also don't want the colour to be overpowering us mm. because you need to be the star, mm. not the colour. So we want it to just frame you really nicely. If a colour's good, it just looks really nice and even and you'll probably be smiling in it. You'll probably be fe feeling happy like, ah, oh, this is mine, this is my shade. Mm. Um, if it's a colour that doesn't suit you so much, it can bring out kind of, sometimes it can make us look unwell. Mm. It does that, it's powerful, it's quite weird. Um, or sometimes it can bring out kind of the shadows all around our face and just kind of bring us down, even bring down the mood. So we're just looking for which ones are the very best for ourselves. So um, is there any palette, even at this early stage where you see them all laid out, where you're kind of gravitating towards some of the shades or any of them? No, <laughs> you're going to tell me. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> I mean, I no, um, yeah. there may be 
probably that one. I just mm -hmm. really like bright colors, but yeah. I know they don't always suit me, but we on a see. personal level, I quite yeah. like them. Yeah. So like if you were to pick like a phone case or something like that, yeah. you would go for these like probably, yeah. bright colors. Yeah. Oh, okay, exciting. <laughs> um, so we're going to, I know you're in a lovely bright pink today, but we are just gonna put a white cape on just so we're not influenced. Sure. So we're gonna start off with the reds, always a good place to start. And we're just gonna go through them all one by one and just see how we're feeling in them. makes my skin look quite pink yeah I think so too and it's even so the, the it's too close the to the color gone. of my skin as well it's like yeah. my skin is quite or well, my cheeks are quite pink yeah that's better already a lot better mm. do you know if you blush are you a blush? yeah quite a bit quite a bit and do you tan at all not really not really Warm this up a little. It's quite good. <laughs> Maybe makes my skin look a bit yellowish, but it's not bad. Mm. No. no. <laughs> this one is the, the easiest I know, up no. I did not look good in orange. I've, <laughs> I've tried desperately to look good in orange and I just just can't because <laughs> I love the colour yeah it's just not your shade of it no, I think if yeah, we were to go for any yeah, right on. so let's just completely rule that one out I quite like this for you mm. seeing your face behind as well yeah I like that if anything it's taken a lot of the pinkness mm. away I think because it's so warm and it's bringing yeah. out more of your golden hues it's kind of removed the pink at the same time mm. which is nice see now we've gone backwards this one just looks a little cold and a bit flat mm. I think this one had a nice bit of it does yeah I'd like it. red in general so yeah I would wear pretty much any shade of red <laughs> <laughs> so not many not many wrong answers here yeah no these two definitely not the bottom one yeah. not the orange oh no not this one <laughs> So I think the outlayer, and I think you can agree, is this nice bright one mm. here. Yeah, I think. Okay. And red is a really nice colour just for kind of giving you a bit of a boost. Because mm. I'm sure that's why you enjoy it as well. You probably feel good and confident, powerful in it. Mm. Sort of that punchy, powerful colour. It's a great first impression colour because of that. So that sort of memorable yeah. red. Nice one to go for there. Could be nice in outfits, even just like as a pop. Doesn't have to be like a whole mm. red outfit because that can be sort of quite a lot. Yeah, or just like the classic red lipstick. Yeah, know? exactly. Could be like a, you know, a more neutral outfit with that as a pop. Yeah. I'm going to do the greens next. What's your relationship with green? Uh, I like it, but mm -hmm. I know that a lot of greens don't really suit me. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, mm, it's a lot, isn't it? Nice, yeah. For such a pastely colour, it's a lot for you. Yeah. It's taking away from your face, which we don't want. Hmm, it's quite nice. It's I do actually have a dress this colour, which I quite like. Yeah. It's quite cool and dark. But yeah. But it's almost quite good for like a neutral colour. Yeah, interestingly. It's nice that it's not too anything. Yeah. I think. Yeah. As we saw with this one, this is a two, isn't it? But yeah. this has just kind of gone, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Weirdly, I like this more than I thought I would. <laughs> yeah, I really like that for you. <laughs> Because this one was just kind of neutral, but mm. this is quite, like, wow. Statement. Yeah. Yeah. 
Does it kind of wash me away though? I don't know. Well, if anything, I think this one's kind of bringing mm. out some of the purples and sort yeah. of bringing you down. But I think this one, just like that other bright red, has got a nice kind of lift mm. to it. And again, I think this has cancelled out some of the pinkness in your face mm. that maybe there was with this one, I think. Just kind of brought some of that warmth mm. back. Let's see what happens if we warm it up a little bit more. Mm. Mm -mm. Just a bit flat, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of sludgy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is our best one. It's definitely between these two. Mm. Yeah. But I just think this has kind of got this lovely kind of happiness to yeah, it. Yeah, I have like slightly warm tones in my hair yeah. as well, I think, which complements kind of comes it out. really nicely. Yeah, I'm going to say that's the outlier there. Would you say personality wise, and I always do take the personality with a pinch of salt, but it does seem to be kind of fairly in line. Mm. Would you say you're extroverted, introverted? Uh, controversial one, but mm -hmm. I think they're a spectrum. Definitely. Uh, Which is so your lean? <laughs> I would say most people are somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe I lean more on the extra, slightly more extroverted side. Yeah. Yeah. Slightly more that way. Would you say you're quite sort of chatty, enjoy kind of chatting and socialising? Mostly. Yeah. Firstly, <laughs> but then sometimes you need to recharge your batteries afterwards, exactly, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the greens done. And the greens are just that nice, they're happy like yellow, but then it's kind of just more chill like a blue. So it's that nice middle ground of there's a bit of a lift and you're going to feel good in it. Mm. And I think especially in this one, you're going to feel really mm. good in it. So it's a nice kind of lift, but still there's an element of calmness and groundingness to it. So, now we've got the main ones out of the way. What do you fancy? Yellow, blue, pink? Go with yellow. Nice. Continue that happiness right <laughs> on. Yep. And it's one of those ones where you'll feel happy as the wearer in a yellow, but everyone around you seeing you in yellow is going to get that happiness as well. Oh. It's not bad. It's not bad, yeah. It's not bad. We actually have a top this colour. I would say bad. we could do better. Yeah. But it's not bad. Yeah. Let's just go ever so slightly brighter. See what that does for your skin. Mm. It's okay. Not great. Not great. I also just somehow don't like the colour. I see. <laughs> <laughs> it is a hard colour. It's very hit or miss, I mm. think. It's a bit better. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think so. The pale ones just weren't doing mm. anything for you. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that either. Mm. It's almost too orange. It's not bad. Yeah. So I don't think any of these have been particularly bad. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe more of a sort of a sunshine yellow as yeah. opposed to like an ochre would be yeah, maybe more my colour. This nice bright one, I think this is just too muted mm. and a bit too flat, but this yeah. is just that nice middle ground of enough pop and yeah. enough kind of contrast for your skin. Mm. But these ones were just a little washing you out. So this nice one, I think. Okay starting to see a pattern, <laughs> which is fun. So we can go on to those nice relaxing blues as well. And with that sort of calming atmosphere with the blue, it can be quite nice if you sort of have any decision making to do or any of that kind of thing. It's just a nice calm for the wearer, calm for, you know, the people mm. who are seeing you kind of colour. It's funny, I never thought about that. So maybe next time I just need to be focused and calm. I will put on a blue, <laughs> a blue top. Yeah. Yeah. And you can even get that blue from a denim as well. Mm. There is a lot of different shades of denim out there. And I think you can definitely mix denims. I know some people are like double denim, but I think it's about, in my opinion, I don't know who anyway. made that up. That's exactly. just nonsense. <laughs> Nowadays, there's a lot less rules. It's more of just having fun and expressing yourself. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's get into them. Sometimes people are funny about blues and school uniform colours and associations. Oh, uh, like yeah. That. Mm. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's kind of putting blue everywhere yeah. else, isn't it? Like it matches my eyes, which mm -hmm. is quite nice, but other than that, it's not. Yeah. Mm, no, I think this is a no for me. It's just, just too don't dark. don't like navy on me. I just, ugh. Yeah, it's just taking all of your colour. Yeah. And it's strange because navy should be, and yeah. I think in our heads is one that's, oh, everyone can wear navy, yeah. but I don't, I think this one is just a bit too purpley. Yeah. I think you need, if you can, a yeah. brighter and lighter navy. Mm. Or like an indigo, maybe, yeah. something like that. This is gorgeous. This is lovely. Oh, you're not sure? Not wild about it. Not it's wild quite, about it's it. It's okay, yeah. It's just so uplifting. I feel, like I feel like it's giving me these weird blue shadows um, mm. a little bit. But, yeah, it's not bad. I just love the, the kind of lift mm. it's giving you and the warmth as well. Mm. Similar to that bright green. Mm. I hear you. Quite like that. Yeah, that's quite nice as well. That's quite nice in bringing out that gold. Mm. And yeah, and my, like sort of similar to my eye colour, which is yeah. almost like a teal blue. Yeah. So this shade in particular is a colour that most people will suit. Mm. So you'll probably find it in most of the palettes. It is a really lovely colour. Mm. I think you could even go a shade brighter with mm. it because this one is a little muted, but it is still really nice. I personally like this one, but you're not 100% sold. <laughs> like in comparison with the others, yeah. I think it probably is the best. But Go back to yeah. this one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. And like with these drapes, these are the most extreme from each palette. So when uh -huh. you get your palette at the end, you can see all of the shades of blue in there and all of the other shades. So there's that red, but then there's some lighter colours and other shades in there too that you can just refer to when you're out shopping and we'll do pinks next do you wear much pink i do yeah yeah as you can tell i was yeah. wearing a pink top so, <laughs> when i came so yeah yeah cool trying to be good and organize these <laughs> okay We've got our winner on the top, but we're going to keep this as well because we like mm -hmm. this too. Can always have more than one blue, so let's have these two together. Then we'll go into the pinks. And this is a nice kind of lovingy, romanticy, just like the red with that kind of warmth and passion, but not as fiery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bad. Not bad. You don't seem sold. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like I like most pinks. Yeah. I'm not yeah, it's I'm not, not too fussed about answers. which pink <laughs> it is, but yeah. Yeah. It might be slightly too pale, but it's cool. It's nice. This is quite a contrast. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I think definitely lots of pinks are looking good here, which is nice, which means you can really have the choice yeah i like that one yeah i think this is a good middle ground from these other two yeah this yeah. one that's a little bit maybe a bit intense mm. and a bit cold this one that's just not really doing mm. much i think this is just a nice warm middle ground mm. i feel like it's even though it is a pink itself it's kind of flattened out some of your mm. pink and kind of highlighted some of these nice golden yeah. areas yeah really lovely Oh, look at this kind of salmony, mm. orangey pink. Also not bad. Also quite good, yeah. I was expecting it to look horrible. But <laughs> <laughs> you really do suit a range of pinks. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah. yeah. I think if we're going very best here, I think it's this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'd agree. 
Are yeah. the pink slightly too cool? To... Yeah. There's not many wrong answers with the pinks, which is mm -hmm. nice. And these can all be makeup colours. I know the bright green seems mm. a lot for a makeup colour, but you can definitely play with your palette in sort of lots of areas. So it could I have nail polish that colour, actually. Nice! <laughs> green. <laughs> Already gravitating towards it. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so the final ones that we are going to look at are your neutrals. And um, we'll be starting off with what shades of white are the best. And I know that's a bit weird because you're like, it's, it's white, right? <laughs> well, I know this really intrigues me, actually. I'm always like, white or cream? White <laughs> or cream? <laughs> so you're in white right now. Mm. How are you feeling in this white that you've got on? I don't think it's amazing, mm -hmm. but I think it's quite crisp and it makes my skin look relatively clear yeah um but yeah i don't i don't really know anything beyond that because as a white i think even though it's white it feels quite powerful i mm. feel like we're seeing it here we're seeing it here mm. we're kind of seeing it everywhere mm. it's quite it stark. makes our eyes look a bit sparkly or all white maybe yeah i don't know so this is like a kind of off mm. white and i think that's better i think this is giving you this really lovely warmth and tan Okay. And I know it's just an off-white cream, but yeah. I think it just looks amazing on you. <laughs> I never thought of myself in this colour. It's weird. It looks lovely. I know it's hard to keep it clean, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it just I mean, looks I have lovely. white tops. I just don't really have any colours in tops of this colour. So it's interesting. Yeah. This could be a new star colour, mm. I think. Okay. Good and just know. have to put on bibs in restaurants. Just put a little serviette over the top. Yeah, true. <laughs> but it's lovely. It's really nice. Okay. Oh, surprise of the day. <laughs> the grey is not bad. Mm. I mean, I'm, I can't stop thinking about this on you, but <laughs> it's not yeah, bad. Yeah, grey's alright. I feel like it maybe springs out the pink a bit too much slightly, but it's, it's yeah. okay as a neutral, I guess. So, only one palette suits black. And I know in the UK it's like everyone just wants to wear black all the time. So we will see if you're one of those people. Mm, I'm going to say no. <laughs> Under, underneath the face, I'm going to say no. It's doing the same thing that navy blue is doing. Mm. It's, oh, all I'm looking at is this. I'm yeah. not looking at you as much. And it's yeah. just a bit somber mm. and a bit... It's not doing the worst. Sometimes no, on people not, it brings yeah, out shadows terrible, and things. It's, it's not terrible, but it's, it's not. It's not amazing. No. If we're looking for a standout colour... I think we've seen a lot better than this yeah. one. But hey, you could have this and then you could have that bright green as a print mm. on top, the bright red or something like that. Just find other ways, have it on the bottom. Mm. So do you have a preference? I Yeah, I wear silver and gold actually. I used to be mm. primarily silver. Yeah. But then like as I got older, yeah. I started mixing them up a bit more. Nice. And like with colour analysis, we're looking at it directly under the face. We're looking at, say, you're wearing like a mm. dress entirely in silver or gold. So I'm not going to be one to say, you know, you can't wear the mixed mm. jewellery. Mm. This is a bit like the white for me. It's just yeah, too it's much. slightly washes me off. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, this is lovely. I have to hold it on you because it's a bit slippy. <laughs> it's really nice. You're not sold. Not sold. It kind of makes me feel very yellow, but, mm. but maybe that's just because I'm not used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's bringing out the gold in you. Mm. And maybe that's why you're feeling a bit yellow, but I yeah. feel like it's complementing it quite nicely. I know it's a lot, so maybe it's still yeah, just keeping it Yeah, in a small it amount as, as an earring or something. It's yeah. Different. Yeah. So we're going to have a look at your greatest hits. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of our best colours at the same time. I'm just going to pile them on. So we're going to start out with this nice standout red. And even though it's such a bright red, I don't think it looks too bright on you. I think it just sits really nicely. Mm. This green. Yeah. 
And we'll put both blues on. Because I do still think the turquoise is nice. Mm. But I think as turquoises go, you can still find one a little lighter and brighter. Yeah, I see what you mean. How are you feeling? Do these feel like these are your colours? Yeah, I think so. They make me feel very happy. Yeah. So happy looking at them. <laughs> then finish it off with the gold. Actually, let's get that nice off white in there to finish off on the other shoulder as well. These are your shades. Great. <laughs> and close off, so not this one. Not this one. Too light. Mm. Not this one. Close, but just a little bit too dark and too dulling. So remove these. And this is your palette. The cool. one at the start where she hoped it was which is the spring palette. <laughs> so it's just really fun, happy, light and bright colours. I can see even on your skin right now in all of your best colours, you just look really fresh and healthy mm. and golden. Your hair looks golden. Your eyes look have that nice little golden in the blue. Just that really nice, healthy, happy. And there's so many shades. Mm. So we didn't look at purples, but mm. there's some nice purples in here. Quite a few blues that you can play with. Isn't it gorgeous? And there's a navy, but it's just a little bit mm. lighter and brighter. Like an ultramarine. Yeah. And this one, so that could be like a nice dark denim, but it's still mm. got that gold underneath. It's like a petrol blue. I think I have mm. a jumper that colour. These kind of nice off whitey kind of, what are they, like nice? Nice beigey, tanny mm. colours. So these could be quite nice in the winter. Mm. Like a nice kind of snuggly cardigan or jumper. That could be really lovely. And it could be like this and it could have, maybe you've got like a gold necklace mm. or something like that. With a nice jean. That could be really nice. <laughs> and lots of greens to play with. I know we really love this one. Mm. But there's also, you could look Amazing in this lime colour. I actually colour. have a cardigan, that colour. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Already you're like, oh, I've got, I've got these things. Yeah. These are like mine. Yeah. These kind of nice ones that you can play with. Lots of rich browns, which I think will go as well with your mm. hair and that kind of thing. And brown could even just be like a handbag or like mm. a belt, something like that. Lots of yellows. I know we were a little bit kind of iffy with them but I think these kind of warm bright sunshiny mm. ones so maybe some of these lighter ones weren't mm. quite it but the ones at the end of the palette are quite nice yeah. here and the oranges Ooh, that we've orange. got <laughs> yeah so this one's a bit more burnt yeah, this one's one. more on the salmony end these are just really warm undertone ones I think the one we had was just a little flat mm. and a little bit muted that's why when it went on it was just a bit Pinks. We were close to liking one like this, but this mm. is just a little tad warmer. There's not actually that many pinks in this one. It's more kind of reddish. Yeah, they're a orangey. bit more fleshy. Mm. Even these ones, a bit more orangey. This is quite a nice one. This mm. is a lipstick colour, could be Definitely. amazing. Yeah. And that lovely bright red. Mm. So feel free to have a play. Nice. <laughs> and I will send you a PDF version oh, of this. Cool. Because this is a bit clunky, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you could just get out of my swatches. Yeah, zoom in on yeah. it and have a play with it. 
Oh, great. Thanks very much, Natasha. You're very welcome.